7.39, time for this week's About Your Retirement. Our friend Jim Porter here. Hi, Jim. Hello, Dana. Good, Good to see, see you. you. Yes, yeah, this is absolutely. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Today, a viewer asked Jim, what is the fourth consideration in selecting the right memory care community? Yes, and Dana, just kind of to bring you up to date, three weeks ago, we started answering a viewer question about the poor care that she felt her mother was receiving in the memory care facility that she was at. Mm. Once we started that, I have just had numerous calls, emails with different people about questions, comments, and things that are happening where their loved ones are. And so what I had decided to do was present what I feel are four of the most important considerations. There are a lot of details that go into this, but you know, we've only got so much time. So four <laughs> considerations. The first one was the key to success, I feel like, is to have a loving and caring full-time RN that's experienced in working with adult age generation. The second one is People uh, at memory care facilities will say, well, we can't, we can't really do the care we want to because we're short staffed. Well, th they want to blame it on COVID, but we were having staffing shortages two years before right. COVID ever thought about attacking us. And so I don't think that's a good excuse. I think that's when owners and management need to step up, be in the building, fill in those gaps, even if they have to work 16 hours a day. It's not that big a deal. I did it. And so the other thing was home atmosphere. Make sure sure you don't just cheapen the the memory care wing the the home for people these are special people and just because they have an alzheimer dementia diagnosis doesn't mean they don't deserve a nice home atmosphere a nice private suite with a private bathroom and a private shower i mean let's have some dignity here for for our loved ones and so the fourth one today is fun activities yeah, okay. and so we want to talk about those a little bit and you should always have some daily activities arts crafts exercise games um, I like having curved walking paths outdoors and so that people can just walk. Some people will walk for hours and we have a, a, a peacock hotel that I built. <laughs> and so there's a lot of things to do, covered patios, um, entertainers, singing, uh, entertainers. We pay entertainers to come into the memory care just like we do the assisted living, independent living. These are special people. They deserve this singing. Uh, of course, we have Buddy, and a lot of people say, well, you, fun activities are distractions, but I think that's negative. I like to look at it as attractions, and Buddy's a major attraction. We've got three baby peacocks now. It's our third generation of peacocks, mm. and residents love to watch them as they grow and mature. And so there is so much, but one warning, don't rely only on ads you see about finding the place. You've got to go research, you've got to do your own legwork and make sure it's what you're expecting and you're not just moving mom or dad in someplace and then this marketing company is going to get several thousand dollars right. when you do it. Jim, I can tell this is something you're very passionate about. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, don't forget you can get more retirement advice from Jim. You can visit news9.com slash retirement.